Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my review on the Word Roots program from the Critical Thinking Co. So we have been using this one with Word Roots beginning since last school year. I use it with both of my daughters, a third grader and a fifth grader. And it's honestly my favorite program to teach vocabulary, spelling, because of its unique approach. And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. First of all, I wanna say thank you to Critical Thinking Co. They reached out to me and they're like, hey, you wanna try some of our products? And I was like, hey, I already use Word Roots and I absolutely love it. So I would love to review, cause I haven't done a video on Word Roots and we've been using it forever. It's just such like a normal part that I don't really feel like I needed to share it, but the time has come, let's talk about Word Roots and thank you Critical Thinking Co for sponsoring today's video. And Critical Thinking Co was nice enough to send me an extra beginner level Word Roots because we've already been using this one. I'm gonna be giving this extra one away free. So there is a giveaway in this video. All the details of how to enter the giveaway are down below. I will be sending the winner a copy of the Word Roots beginning. So if you wanna try it out, you're ready to start it, make sure you enter that giveaway so you could win your copy. I also have a discount link that applies to all Critical Thinking Co. products. So if you're shopping, there's a great discount link. All those details are down below in the description. All right, so first of all, let's rewind. What is Word Roots? Word Roots is a unique way to teach, in my opinion, vocabulary and spelling. It's teaching your kids um, prefixes, suffixes, and root words. So the reason that I think that this is so important is, and I don't, I don't know off the top of my head, I'm going to put it in text here. There's million, I, I don't know if there's millions of words. There's a lot of words in the English language. There is no way we could teach our children all these words. And there is, um, if your child is college bound or you're prepping them for college, part of the testing for college does require vocabulary knowledge. So as a parent, how can I best teach my kid as many words as possible? Well, if you take a step back, most words can be broken down. And when you break them down into their roots and their prefixes and their suffixes, you can kind of figure out what the word means. And so I'm giving my kids this tool to where I don't expect them to know every single vocabulary word, to memorize every single definition. But if they're able to break apart a word and they know what the parts, then they can use, you know, logic and reasoning and figure out what that word may mean. And so this is how I've been teaching my kids vocabulary and spelling, to be honest. We don't ever use a separate spelling type curriculum because again, I think knowing how words break apart um, helps in spelling in general as well. So currently we are using this level. This is Word Roots Beginning. This is the smallest of the bunch and I will say the easiest of the bunch. Um, it's around 100 pages. There are 24 lessons. And so each lesson focuses on a root and certain prefixes or suffixes. So this one, I yeah, grade levels three to four. I started this when my middle daughter was in second grade. Um, and some of the stuff, you know, we had to go a little bit slower for her. My fourth grader, it was perfect for her. Now she's in fifth grade. She flies through these. Um, so she's definitely ready to bump up to the next level. So all you need is this workbook. Um, I do believe they sell this as a PDF file too. So like if you have multiple kids, I would honestly, and you have a good printer, um, I would recommend getting the digital file because then you can just print copies for all of your kids if you're, you know, using it multiple years. There's 24 lessons and it's going to tell you in each lesson. So are you learning a root? Are you learning a prefix, a suffix, and then which ones are there? So lesson one, um, right off the bat, you're learning a bunch of roots um, and that's kind of setting you up for future lessons. So everything's laid out here, but there's no separate teacher's guide or anything like that that you need. Um, there is a kind of overview section of like how to teach these lessons, which I do recommend reading, especially if you're not familiar with roots, prefixes, and suffix, and like how to explain and teach them. Um, so this is what a lesson looks like, the first start of a lesson. And so I do like that it's pretty consistent um, as you're working through the activities. So they give you what does a prefix, so we're learning the prefix um, peri, which, and then the meaning, and then the root. So there's three roots were 
um, learning and the meaning of that. It gives some examples um, and then it has activities through that. We go through activity B and C, D, and so we normally will do like one page per day. This is kind of like our warm up morning work. And so you do focus on those same roots and suffixes or prefixes um, for like five activities. So for us, it's like, you know, four to five days worth of work. And then again, you just move on and you get a new root, new prefix, new suffix, and you kind of learn. And then every, I don't know how many lessons, every few. So this one is after lesson 11, there is a review and there are a couple of these throughout the book. So the review is going to take all the previous roots, prefixes, and suffixes, and it's gonna kind of quiz your child on the meanings. And now this is where, like why I'm using the curriculum, this comes into play. If they don't know the word, they should be able to figure it out. Um, we do pull out the dictionary sometimes. If they're not understanding like what, why the word means what it means, then we pull out the dictionary. But I really do like the reviews because it kind of summarizes everything we've been learning. If there's a root or prefix that my kids are just not understanding, we can go back and review it. And then once they're good, then we move on and we start learning more. So, I mean, it's, it's that simple. There's really not much to it. As you see, here's a new lesson, lesson 12. Any prefixes, suffix, root words, and then the activity. So it flows pretty similarly throughout the entire curriculum. There are answers for you as teacher at the back, so you don't have to like fully be doing it. Um, sometimes I go through it with my kids. Sometimes I have them do the activities on their own and I'll grade it afterwards. It's really simple. I mean, it takes us five to 10 minutes to complete like the lesson with the activities. Um, again, we don't do the entire lesson in one school day. We'll do an activity or two per school day five to 10 minutes. So, you know, there are some days where I'm like, is this really doing anything? Like, are they just like copying down and then forgetting it? But I have honestly seen them use these skills in other curriculums and other assignments where they don't know what a word means. And they're like, oh, I know, you know, the root or the, um, the prefix by means two. And so like bicycle, like obviously my kids know what a bicycle is, but they know how to break apart words when they start recognizing prefixes and roots and suffixes. So I've seen it firsthand translate into other curriculum, other assignments that they're doing. And so that is really why I stand by it. And I'm like, this will continue to be a staple. This does not compare to me to like other vocabulary type things we've done where it's just here's a word memorize the definition this you're memorizing fewer words because you're learning to break them apart and so I just think that skill is much more important so again I'm giving this away for free so if you're interested in winning in winning the word roots beginner level which is three to four but honestly if you're just trying out word roots I would start with this regardless it's a very gentle approach into this concept so giving this away for free you need to enter down below all the rules for the giveaway are down below now what i'm excited for is they also sent me uh the next level so this is level one and so this is for grades five through twelve because again i don't necessarily think it's like a leveled base thing like you're just learning these roots that that's really what it is and so you can learn this at any stage, any point, um, it does go up to four levels. So keep that in mind that there, this is level one, there's the beginner one, and then there's three additional on top of this. Now that book, why it's for three to four, the words, the font is bigger. It's a little bit more, I don't want to say cartoony. I mean, it's black and white, but it's for, you know, a younger eye. <laughs> when you get into this, this is like, let's go. This is black and white, small print, figure out your vocabulary. So don't expect this to be pretty and shiny. It is right to the point. Opens up right with a pretest. What are these words? I mean, most adults, I don't know if you would know what these words mean. And so this is the skill that my kids should have learned in that to at least break apart the words. And, and for me, it's like, can you even tell me what one part of the word means? So then we get into lesson one. And again, it does look set up similarly. It's just the font and spacing is different. So we have prefixes we're learning, root and suffix. Here's the words. Um, 
and so it says spelling and defining words. So again, you need to spell these words correctly. You need to define them correctly. And again, my kids, what I tell them to do, find the words you know. You know the definitions and then start using some reasoning and logic to place the other ones. Like you know enough of a word to break apart to find the meaning of it. Um, sometimes they're tricky, right? Some two words can mean something similar. So you really have to like look for those key words in roots and prefixes. We get into again, more activities B and C. It goes through activity D, so four activities. And then there is E, which says optional creative writing. Use some or all of the words to make one um, or more paragraphs or a short story. So that's really cool too. I don't believe that was in the beginner level where they could do use the words in writing. And so I do like that as well. If they're like using the words, they're gonna understand them better. And then right into lesson two, same type of thing. See how many lessons there are. 24 lessons. So I think that was the same. Um, there are reviews which look pretty similar. Oh, this was cool. What did I just see? Hold on. I just saw something. Jumbled letters. So they misspelled a bunch of words and they have to spell them correctly and find the definition. So that is pretty cool too. So I really like this approach. I'm really excited. So my sixth grader is going to be jumping into this one. So we are probably about three fourths through this one. Um, my middle daughter will continue doing this and reviewing it. And then my sixth grader will start working through this book um, is what our plan is for the next school year. They also, which I just saw that in one of these books, they said that they have flashcards. Yeah, they have four levels of flashcards. Um, so I'm gonna check those out because I think that will be good too to review and practice, especially over summer, just to make sure that all the roots that they learned in this are have stuck. I don't want to like be like, we're not sure on these and then jump to this level. So we're gonna review this for sure before my oldest especially gets into this one. Um, and again, I don't know if we would finish this. This book is, is huge. So I don't know if we would finish this in one school year. Um, or this is going to kind of go over multiple school years, which I'm completely fine with. So I really like Word Roots. I've been using it for a few years in our homeschool. I've tried other vocabularies, and this is what makes sense to me um, of how to teach your kids vocabulary, spelling, all of those things. So I hope you guys liked my review of Word Roots. I, if you want to like do me to film like a do a lesson with us make sure you leave that down below in the comments don't forget giveaway to win this but there's only one winner um if you're shopping for curriculum and you're like yes this is what i've been looking for i have that discount code down below you can use it on any products from critical thinking co so i have another video coming out they sent me a bunch of goodies which yeah some are back here um, which we're gonna do a first look at. I have only used Word Roots from their company, but I've heard great things. So if you're also interested in more products from them, I have another video coming out. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye.